Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to begin a new session on machine learning. Uh, this will be a very very big sessions, and it will be usually taking around four to five months in order to complete it. Uh, so we'll be starting um, like this. All sessions will be divided into various small small sessions, uh, where in each and every uh, part we'll be discussing about uh, discussing around two to three topics. Um, and in each topics we'll be seeing the application level and uh, how the application is actually done where it will be used and we'll also be doing the coding part uh, we will be basically using python programming language or R programming language in order to do the programming and uh, i'll also show you like how various kind of algorithms such as <clears throat> linear linear regression uh, multiple linear regression and various uh, algorithms that are used in machine learning let it be and we'll also be discussing about the deep neural network which will be a very good way to start the artificial to understand the artificial intelligence too so here's the agenda uh, that we are going to do it uh, as this is my first first session basically so we will be discussing about uh, what is machine learning and what is supervised and unsupervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning then i'll also start with the <clears throat> algorithms called as linear regression multiple linear regression and polynomial reg regression so this regression uh, linear regressions all topics will be taken up in the next class uh, where i'll be also discussing about the theoretical part of linear regression then we'll be doing the programming part of the linear regression so <clears throat> For the first session, uh, I'll be completing what is machine learning and what is supervised and unsupervised machine learning. Then in the next session, we'll be having a pure discussion about linear regression and uh, its programming. So we'll be dividing this linear regression into two videos, that is linear regression theoretical part and the programming part. And similarly with the multiple linear regression and polynomial linear regression. So let's start. Uh, so the first question is what is machine learning and why it is such a hot topic in this time so just uh, I'll be reading the definition what I've written in this PPT but I'll explain you in a better way what it is actually so let me just read it uh, over here machine learning is an application of an artificial intelligence uh, that provides system the ability to automatically learn and improve from the experience without being explicitly programmed machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can access data and use it to learn for themselves the process of learning begins with observation of some data please note this point the process of learning begins with the observation of data such as example direct experience or instructions in order to look for the pattern in the data and make make better decision in the future based on the examples that we provide the primary aim is to allow computers learn automatically without human intervention or assistance and adjust actions accordingly so all in short um, this machine learning you can j just say that the second para what it specifies the observation or data such as example direct experience or instruction in order to look for the pattern in data and make better decisions so as you know like each and every day each and every day a huge amount of data is getting created like it is since we are in the various social networking platforms through twitter through instagram through facebook we have lot and lot of data so on based on this data we can do some we can apply some algorithms and predict something in order to uh, bring an outcome we can predict we can predict various kind of things like you, you have seen many various e-commerce sites like let let it be amazon flipkart and all so they they have lot and lot of huge amount of data the data will be the people who are interacting with the websites who are buying things from the online and uh, who are also trying to um check the site routinely so this this part uh, where they uh, each and everything the user in, in when the user is interacting with the websites they're getting huge and huge amount of information from those so those data are actually taken by the Amazon or by the Flipkart or by any e-commerce site and they're trying to predict the behavior of the people behavior of the front end client and what they want what they don't want i think you have seen various ways like how this has happened 
so suppose in the Amazon if you're searching for something for a longer time if you include that in your wish list a product that product price may get reduced in your account like it will be showing 10% off in the next day. I think you have seen in many of the uh, many of the weeks or many of the times. Apart from that, uh, how how what else? So like machine learning can, is also a part of artificial intelligence. So here you they are trying to predict the data from the observation that you have already got. This observation or the data from where they have got, they are trying to predict. They are trying to apply an algorithm and trying to predict an outcome of that and by that outcome they will be able to predict the future so that is what is all about machine learning so you're making your computer program to learn automatically to get new information and to predict some information from the data that is already present okay so this is what is machine learning a uh, small uh, basically a small discussion regarding a small initial start that we have given but we will be discussing more and more so where and all it can be used it is a huge it can be used in many many sectors let it be uh, e-commerce sectors or marketing sectors it will be based, uh, in e-commerce and marketing sectors they will be able to predict the uh, behavior of the clients or behavior of the shoppers who will be shopping in their sites and many more things and apart from that um let's let's see the next slide and we'll be discussing about the application part again and again uh, the best way to discuss the application part is that whenever i'll be taking an algorithms just like linear regression i'll be showing you the, the data like what kind of data it is and how we are going to apply with uh, by uh, how we are going to apply an algorithm to predict the future outcome of that so let's go with the next slide uh, so we are going to discuss what are two kinds of machine learning basically so one is supervised machine learning this supervised machine learning i'll tell you the difference between what is supervised and what is not unsupervised machine learning so supervised listening first just let me read it is a four to five line of statements which i have actually taken up from wikipedia um this is the best way how you can define it uh, you know what is supervised learning, machine learning so it can apply what he has learned in the past to new data using labeled examples to predict future events starting from the analysis of a knowing training data set the learning algorithm produce and uh, produces an input function to make prediction about the output values just read about this this is main it makes a prediction about the output values the system is able to provide targets for any new input after sufficient training the learning algorithm can also compare its output with the correct intended output and finds errors in order to modify the model or accordingly so let me just give you a small preview about it what is this supervised machine learning so as i said you like supervised machine learning is nothing but you'll be having a lot of observations and the data and based on that data you'll be applying an algorithms and predicting the future here you will be having all the set of data so in best way i'll say i'll provide you a very good examples uh, on the x-axis uh, you can see this graph on this x-axis is the years years of experience of a an it candidate of a person who is working and the y-axis is basically the salary in lakhs okay so over here you can see on one years one years of experience uh, the candidate may have may have three lakhs or of around salary and similarly in two years it may get increased to four four lakhs and in similarly in five years it may get increased to five lakhs so this is a basic uh, data that you are having uh, the data that you are finding in the market that on one year you basically the candidate is having around 3.5 lakhs of a salary similarly for two years some different value that is four lakhs now based on this data we will be applying an algorithm which will be able to predict what the salary should be for the six years or seven years of experience and similarly eight or ten years of experience and so that whenever a company hires someone they will be able to predict that what salary usually based on the market conditions what salary should be offered to the employee <clears throat> so this is one kind of example or what kind of linear regression example suppose i'll be applying a linear regression over your algorithm to find a minimal line which will be actually very trying to predict it for the future values by this linear line we'll be able to predict the future values of that 
so this is the example of supervised machine learning basically you will be having all the data sets the 